proofs of loss of set operations we are going to prove the loss of set operations of kind de morgan law say under the de morgan's laws there are of two laws under that de morgan's so we are going to prove the first one that is de morgan's law number 1 so here it states that a union b whole complement is equals to a complement intersection b complement so here we have to prove this condition a union b whole complement is equals to a complement intersection b complement as the de morgan's law number 1 under the advanced level so here in order to prove this condition so you have to assume the two sets that is a and as well as b whereas here under the proof de morgan's law number 1 states that a union b whole complement is equals to a complement intersection b complement or in other words it can also be dash a union b whole dash is equals to a dash intersection b dash we are going to prove this condition by element wise proof the now proof starts now see in our proof before going to prove this condition that is a union b whole complement or whole dash is equals to a dash intersection b dash so first of all let us know the formula that is the complement of a set see here complement of a set or in other words complement of set a so that is can be denoted by means of implies a dash so a dash can be given by means of the formula mu minus that is universal set minus this given set that is a so in order to get the complement or the a dash complement of set a or a dash we have to subtract a set a from the universal set so here this is the formula for finding the a dash or the complement of a in case so here we need a union b whole dash so here similarly in order to prove this condition we need a union b whole dash so here a union b whole dash can be given by the formula say here under the complement there is of a so we have subtracted a from the universal set so under the complement there is of bracket which consists of a union b so the bracket a union b must be subtracted from this universal set that is mu so in this manner we are getting the formula of a union b whole dash as mu minus a union b and the similar manner we can write b dash as mu minus b then now based upon this formula so here we are going to deduce or we are going to prove the condition which is given to us as a union b whole dash equals to a intersection a dash intersection b dash then now but whereas here in order to prove this condition that is a union b whole complement is equals to a complement intersection b complement first of all we have to prove two conditions that is left hand side must be the subset of right hand side and the right hand side must be the subset of left hand side then now here in order to prove the condition that is a union b whole complement or whole dash is equals to a complement intersection b complement so here first of all we have to prove the two cases that is first one as lhs as the subset of rhs that is lhs must be the subset of rhs or in other words a union b whole complement must be the subset to the right hand side that is a dash intersection b dash and the second case as right hand side must be the subset of left hand side that is a dash intersection b dash that is a dash complement a complement intersection b complement must be the subset of a union b whole complement then now so here i am going to prove the first case that is case number 1 as a union b whole complement is a subset of a complement intersection b complement i am going to prove this condition by the element wise that is element wise proof so in order to prove this condition by means of element wise proof i have to consider or i have to assume one element that is x belongs to the lhs so here the assumed element is of x let x belongs to the lhs that is a union b whole complement then now so here that implies
but here x belongs to so here just now we wrote a in and b whole complement or in other words a in and b whole dash can be written as mu minus a in and b so here instead of a in and b whole dash we can write it as so here mu minus a union b so under the complement or under the dash there is of a union b bracket so here a union b must be subtracted from mu that is universal set in order to get the complement of this a union b then now the next logical step is of so here x is present in mu minus a union b or in other words x belongs to mu but here a union b is subtracted from mu so x is belonging to mu but not a union b so we can write it as the next logical step as that implies x belongs to this universal set mu and x does not belongs to this bracket that is a union b because here a union b is removed so here it belongs to mu only but it does not belongs to this second set that is a union b then now the next logical step will be of that implies x belongs to mu and say i want to elaborate this condition that is within the bracket x belongs to a say here in case if it is of belongs to i would have written here x belongs to a or x belongs to b but here it is of does not belongs to therefore union will be changed as intersection because it is of does not belongs to therefore x belongs to a for union i have to write it as say here or the symbol is of v so for intersection it is of and so the in, it is of inverted v so here we have to note this condition so we are using this symbolic notations here in this logical step then now here the next logical step is of x x does not belongs to a and b can be written as x does not belongs to a then now here instead of union we have to write it as intersection because here in case if it is of belongs to i would have written here union as or itself but here instead in case it is of here it is of does not belongs to therefore union will be changed into the intersection so instead of union that is or i have to write a and then the symbol will be of and that is inverted v then now x does not belongs to even this set b then now here i am going to apply the process that is the distributive law then now here if a is multiplied with b plus c then now here first of all a must be multiplied with b then later with c then that is equals to a into b plus a into c so based upon this principle so i want to write the logical step as so here that implies x belongs to universal set x belongs to mu and x belongs to a so here x does not belongs to a so here it is of x does not belongs to a then instead of union i wrote here and intersection then now it must be x does not belongs to a and does not belongs to even b also then now here the next logical step is of x belongs to mu and x does not belongs to even a as the first bracket then now here the next and so here and because here we have written a into b plus in between and a into c here also the same so here and then now x belongs to mu in the second bracket and x does not belongs to b then now here in the next logical step here when x is belong to mu and x does not belongs to a in and b so here it is of mu minus a in and b so here the next logical step will be of that implies x belongs to so here it is belonging to mu and does not belongs to a so here a is removed so it belongs to mu and does not belongs so here a must be subtracted from mu so here x belongs to mu and it is not present in x is not present in a that is not belonging to a so can be written as x belongs to mu minus a and in a similar manner when x is belonging to universal set and does not belongs to b can be written as x belongs to so here mu and not belongs to so here it must be subtracted so here b must be subtracted from mu but here we know the one formula that is mu minus a so mu minus a is nothing but the a complement in case it is of b complement we would have written here mu minus b so here in the next logical step say instead mu minus a we can write it as a dash so mu minus b can be written as b dash the next logical step will be of x belongs to a dash intersection x belongs to b dash so that implies x belongs to a dash and x belongs to b dash so the next logical step is of so here based upon the intersection based upon the definition of the intersection of two sets so here x belongs to a dash so here and becomes here into so here b dash so here i got this logical step by the definition of the intersection of two sets then now here the lhs is of so here lhs is of as per the case number 1 so lhs is x belongs to a in and b whole dash then now here we got 
the RHS as x belongs to intersection interse a dash intersection b dash. So, here then we have x belongs to a union b whole dash as the left hand side implies the right hand side is of x belongs to a dash intersection b dash. So, here from this it is clear that an element x is present in left hand side set that is a and b whole dash then the same element x is also present in the right hand side set that is a dash intersection b dash. Therefore, the elements which are present in LHS set is also are also the elements of the RHS set therefore, LHS will be the subset of the RHS. So, from this it is clear that we can write it as a union b whole dash is the subset of a dash intersection b dash. So, in this manner we have proved the first case then now let us consider this as the equation number 1 or the condition number 1. 